Welcome to the AI Show. Today we're going to talk about the AI School. My name is Seth Juarez. Hi, I'm Sonia Koptiev. So AI Show, AI School, what's the difference? Sure. Um, so AI Show is our dedicated Channel 9 show to feature code and tutorials and real life hands-on you know, um, samples for people to get started with the AI, um, new features that we're releasing and things like that. With AI School, it's really a map, if you will, for developers of all of the great content that we have out there, including, you know, the docs and tutorials and code samples, but it will also feature videos and introductions to the various topics. Mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of a broad range. Here are all the things we have for developers to get upskilled and onboarded onto AI and machine and deep learning. That's awesome. So the AI show is more of like, a, we're just going to be putting stuff out as it comes. And maybe some of the stuff from the AI show will get aggregated it into absolutely something will. in the AI school. Yes. Awesome. So can you give us an example of why someone would go to the AI school and how they would navigate through it? Yeah, absolutely. So here we've got the AI school up in the browser. It's just aischool.microsoft.com. Um, and we have loaded in an initial set of content, but we're going to be adding in more as we build it out. And so, for example, um, if I'm curious in Azure Machine Learning real-world examples, I would dive in here to the path. And here I see there's only one module, but it's 12 steps, right? And to get through all 12 would take you about two hours, three hours, and it's a beginner level. So I know that if I'm just getting started with Azure Machine Learning, this is the one for me. Um, and it's also real world examples, not a here's how you install the thing, right? I see, which is nice because there's a lot of like install the thing. Go install thing. the thing, <laughs> yeah. run this pip command, right? Um, so this is the real wor world examples. And in step one, we've got document collection analysis. And if I wanted to see what other examples there are here, we've got Q&A matching using Workbench. Right, we've got things like predictive maintenance. So let's dive into this one. And it looks like this is only a 10 minute read or seven minute read. And so this is the predictive maintenance real world scenario. And it takes me right to um, where I can dive into actually building this out. It tells me all the prereqs that I need, what I, need, what I do need to get installed to make this scenario work. And then um, how to go through with the notebook server and everything else. So this is just a nice way to get you to the content without you having to hunt and peck for the content. And that's really nice because it looks like this could be a combination of both video, sample, oh, yeah. and docs. Is that, that right? That's exactly the vision is that it's going to be all forms of media across the board, even if it's podcasts eventually, right? Um, actual code samples and tutorials, video tutorials, definitely things from this show, um, other Channel 9 shows that we've got. I know Paige has a couple in the hopper that we're going to be releasing soon. She does. Yes. So all of that will land on AI School. So if I'm going to AI School, how do I actually find, so let's just say I already know a little bit about X or Y and I want to dive into something. How do I actually find something that I want to learn? Absolutely. So you can search. Mm -hmm. There's a search. Oh, hey. There's a search. That's how the internet works. Uh -huh. So say I wanted something on Cognitive Toolkit. There you go. You've got the learning paths that relate to Cognitive Toolkit. In this case, it'll be the image segmentation samples. Um, we've got modules, if you don't want to go the full path. So there are modules that relate to getting started with Cognitive Toolkit. And then there's a mention of it in the Visual Studio Code Tools for AI module as well. Um, and then there are actual steps. Um, and so we've got the various steps in different modules that correlate to Cognitive Toolkit as well. And beyond search, what you can do is on the main paths page, we've got this filter thing. I see. Um, and so nothing will show up in the filters unless it actually exists on the site. We figured that would be a bit of a, of a problem if we had stuff that wasn't there. So for example, if I'm a Node.js developer and I want to dig into this stuff, here are two paths with Node. Oh, that's handy. That I can dig into right away. Right? So there's a level of familiarity with certain tooling and certain languages. And so any dev can come here and start learning stuff right away. That's amazing. So let's just say people are looking at this and they're like, this is amazing. I have some suggestions and they want to know about X or Y, how do they actually get feedback to you? Yes, so we are working on putting in the smiley frowny face functionality that I'm sure everyone is super familiar with, it exists in all of our Office products and uh, Windows as well. So that'll land on the site very soon, within a week or two. But in the meantime, ask AI school at Microsoft.com. Uh, feel free to email us anything, whether it's you know content suggestions, uh, issues that you're having with any of the content, anything that you think is missing, gaps. Um, again, we're constantly working on adding more content and filling in the gaps that we already know about. But it'd be great to hear from you, um, especially with suggestions. That's awesome. So to get started, it's just Microsoft.com front slash AI school. Did I get it right? Other way around. AI school. Dot Microsoft. Microsoft.
I'll get it. Anything else you want to add about AI school? No, just super excited to have these resources available for developers and hopefully it gets them more excited and um, lowers the bar to entry, right? The barriers to entry Absolutely. for them getting onboarded with AI. Awesome. Well, if you have any suggestions, again, they can email. Ask AI school at Microsoft.com. Or you can put them in the comments below. For example, let's just say you want a series of shows about X or Y. We'll probably do it on the AI show first and then we will. we'll put them together onto AI school. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Take Thank care. you.